Good evening, wrestling fans, and welcome to this week's edition of AIWF Ringside Wrestling. I am Mad Matt Carter. As you can see, well, the people that are listening on podcast can't see, but I am prepped. I am ready for 80s hair metal night this Saturday night. Sergeant Stryker, how are you, sir? You're muted, my friend. Sergeant Stryker, you're muted. There you go. There we go. Nah, I'm just living life, dude, taking just one day at a time. Uh, I think I had a spur of the moment midlife crisis slash uh, irrational purchase yesterday. Oh. Uh, went out and got me another truck, paid $18,000 cash for it. Well, um, would you like to show us this truck so then we can judge you for uh, either making a stupid purchase or a smart purchase, or do you just want to leave well enough alone? Uh, well, give me time to walk out. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to start off with a bang tonight. Did Sergeant Stryker get a good deal? He volunteered the amount. He paid $18,000 for this truck, so we'll start off with a used car segment tonight. Because uh, I know you didn't get no new one for eighteen grand. I, can tell you, I know that for a fact. 2011. 2011. Oh, not bad. Not bad. 2011 Nissan Titan uh, Pro 4X. What's it got oh, under the hood? Huh? What's it got under the hood? Uh, well, you'll be able to hear what's under the hood here in just a second when I crank it up. Well, I think I can see it on the door, but... I think it's a V8, guys. Just saying. Oh, yeah, it's V8. He's going to crank it up for us. So, for those of you listening in Radio Land, I know this is not the most friendly <laughs> thing, but but anyway, Sergeant Striker showing off the new car. You hear it? No. No, unfortunately, I don't hear it. Joey Nugs, Tim Stone, do you hear it? Y'all can't hear it? I can't hear nothing. I don't hear what? no truck. What'd you do? Are you, are you, I thought you was an all-American kind of guy. What are you doing buying a Japanese truck to begin with? That's why I don't start. Should have bought an American truck. What kind of American <laughs> hero are you? It's ridiculous. That's why it didn't start. Uncle Sam said, don't let that sucker start, and it didn't. Should have bought a oh, Ford. Should have bought a Ford. I drive a Lincoln Town car, an American car. Jeez, <laughs> come on. Yeah, and guess what Ford stands for? Found on road dead. No, first on race day. Get it right, oh, son. Found on road dead. Oh, Lord. Well, it's better to be found on the road dead and at least try to get out of the parking lot. Your grand presentation of your, your new truck went to the toilet quick. Oh, yeah. Well, I had a feeling it might go downhill, so that's why I encouraged <laughs> it to do it. How is everybody tonight? Great. AIWA, AIWF ringside wrestling fans. I feel great tonight. Well, I'll, we, yeah. we're I'm, ready I'm for feeling the hair you got. Is, is this part of, is this a new look for you or what are we, what are we doing here? This will be a look for tonight to whet, whet everybody's appetite for the show Saturday night. And I will, uh, I will be wearing this to the show Saturday night too. So. Oh, okay. I got you. This is for, the, for, for Saturday night show with all the 80s hair, hair. Tribute, tribute to hair. 80s hair metal bands. Yeah, that right. I was going to try to do an impersonation of gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, but I don't think I could pull it off. You know, I, it, unless Jakey wants to run, get me a can of Lysol. So I can spray the air, baby. Kill these germs. <laughs> gorgeous. Jay don't like germs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heck yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, we got a lot to get to tonight. I have, uh, I was hoping commissioner Dave would join us. But I have an uh, interview uh, from an uh, exclusive interview that Mickey Fulp sent to me this morning. Uh, uh, the So Dudes with Attitudes are going to be reuniting this Saturday night. And uh, so we definitely want to uh, – we definitely want to uh, – No, I, I only came back in October. Who are the So Dudes with Attitudes? Well, I've never seen them wrestle before, but apparently okay. uh, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey Fulp just uh, – just uh sent uh, he sent in an interview and he's going to explain a little bit about his partner uh who has not wrestled in mount airy in about 10 years is my understanding so um anyway we will uh we'll get to that shortly all right let's get into the announcements here this is what we came, came to do here i thought i'd just let you in 
Uh, okay, so AIWF, we're putting a headlock on high advertising prices. I challenge you, defy you, to find any any place, uh, wrestling podcast wise, around the country, around the world, that you can get advertising rate uh, this cheap. Uh, there is a BPO that I follow on Twitter uh, that operates out of the Philippines. I'm talking to you um, on engagement, BPO. This is right up your alley. Uh, we're putting a headlock on high advertising prices weekly for a 30 second to one minute read, which I will demonstrate for our sponsor branch management in a moment, six bucks a week. There's no commitment, no contracts, no nothing. If you'd like it every, every week for a month, it's only $10 a month. Now you cannot get in and out of Starbucks for that kind of price. No way, shape, form or fashion. This, nope. this is geared to the small businessman. And uh, we're definitely, um, we're definitely trying to help out those of you who got small businesses, startup side jobs, whatever you want to call it. We're definitely trying to help you out with this 10 bucks a month, six bucks a week. If you need us to come shoot a video commercial, we can do that for you as well. $20 a month. I mean, excuse me, $30 a month for that service and, uh, and $20 a week for that as well. Uh, the AIWF is not only we have this show here on Facebook live after it's over with, we'll upload it to YouTube and all your favorite podcasting platforms. And, uh, also we'd like to advertise the Roku channel. There was uh, a little bit of technical difficulties with the Roku channel yesterday. Um, our executive producer, Kevin Phoenix, whether you like him or not. And of course he is always is the AIWF mid Atlantic wrestling champion right now heavyweight champion uh attempted to put up night two and um let's see night two and of the 30th anniversary show as well as capital punishment but i could not get the videos to load the links are there but when you click on them it spins a little and then nothing happens i have not had time to check it today so if somebody out there in tv or radio land wants to let us know whether it's working or not uh, feel free to, um, but also, no, who, what? I've got a theory on that. Oh, oh boy, here we go, guys. More than likely, Kevin Phoenix is not in those videos on Roku, so therefore, they're not going to work mysteriously. It could be, but but Capital Punishment was the night that he, he won the uh, AIWF title in a match. With yeah, Ty he Tyson. definitely would want to look good on those videos. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going on with that, but you know, hey, man, the AIWF didn't invent technical difficulty, but we perfected it by God. And so it's nothing short. Uh, not, nece not necessarily because there's a lot of controversy that came about with him winning that AIWF Mid Atlantic title at Got Capitol. That. So therefore, he's not going to make it. He's not going to incriminate himself and make himself look like the loser he is, because he had to have everybody else fight for him to beat down Ty Tyson. Yeah, yeah. Bake a pie, eat a pie. At the end of the day, the man's got the belt, and he's the heavyweight champion of the Mid Atlantic. Don't hate on the man. He did his job. I can't argue with that. Five other people. At the end of the day, results happen. He got that belt. Bobby Dalton has joined us as well. Bobby, I think I heard you say something like him and five other people. Is that what you said? Yeah, it was a lynching. A lynching. Oh, man. That's, all I'm going to say. That's just horrible. He's a black man, and you're going to talk about lynching like he did it. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, right? I, I, the people that I'm hanging with, I'm appalled. I'm glad. I'm not, that... Kevin Kevin Phoenix is not here, but I am appalled for him as, 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 as his friend. And I'll tell him to his face it was a lynching. I ain't scared of it. Oh, Lord, it's not even – no, Bobby, look up lynching in the dictionary. It's not – I know what it means. Let's continue on because this might not be a good yeah, subject let's move here. On. Oh my God! I'm God. So we just got on all the streaming platforms everywhere. Mama Nugs got used to hearing a baby boy on the radio, and you're going to get me kicked. Watch yeah. it, guys. I, well, no, I marked the show explicit just for this type of thing. But you know, okay, if some, we'll see. If the wrong asshole on Twitter gets wind of this, oh my God! You know. So anyway, let's keep it moving. Tread uh, lightly. Tread lightly. <laughs> Yes. Um, Let's continue on. <laughs> we are on Instagram. <laughs> Maybe not for long. Uh, it's, all you got to do is search AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. And I want to say again, thank you so much for the support. 
we're over a hundred followers already and it's still growing not as fast as it was before because people were getting used to it but i gotta give kudos to man like a lot of independent wrestlers in North Carolina are following us. And a lot of fans are following us on Instagram, Instagram. I had no idea until we started this account, what a hotbed Instagram was for wrestling. Joey knows I've seen your man, Jack leave a couple of awesome interviews Mm -hmm. on Instagram. So if you're wrestling fans, you've got to get on Instagram, if nothing else, so you can follow your favorite independent wrestler. If you're a wrestler period, and you're not utilizing social media to your fullest capacity, you're, you're dropping the ball. I'm not going to play it pool punches. That's the truth. You got to, you got to cross the board. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you could you could touch it, the world, not just your your local down the road, the world at a push of a button. Now you you better in, jump on it. I need to do it more myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And and that part of that uh, would include coming on this program. You know, uh, God help you. It's not hard. Click two times. Click a Zoom link once. I mean, it's free advertising for you guys. But I'm not going to get on that soapbox again. You see it every week on the uh, on the invite. So. The floor is yours if you want to use it. We're also on Twitter. I uh, search AIW at AIWF underscore mid. That's AIWF underscore mid on Twitter. And of course, we're all over the old folks' social media platform, Facebook, which seems to be the best place to advertise wrestling shows, quite frankly. All right. Uh, again, we have got to thank our friends at Branch Management. Oh, man, they are so awesome for, for uh, helping out the show. Uh, They are a tree service that operates in Mount Airy and the Surrey County area in North Carolina. But wait, they don't just do trees. Joey Nugs, do you know that they also do pressure washing as well as general landscaping? Nice. Yes. So if you just need to grass cut. They uh, are the jack of all trades. They're getting it done. They certainly are. Uh, They'll help you. Mount Airy and Surrey County, you don't have no other place to call. Call them directly. Yeah, exactly. They will uh, have your, uh, have your, uh, Yard looking as pretty as Isengard before Saruman ruined it. That is a deep cut for you token nerds. This is the time of year to get your yard looking good for summertime. That's for sure. Going to have all those barbecues. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. And they can help you with all that. They can help you with pruning. You know, if you got uh, trees that are too close to structures or power lines, you know, uh, don't wait on the county to do it, man. Yeah, get on it, get on it, and take care of your property. You know, you don't want a branch falling through the roof or anything. But if you need a tree completely removed, you know, I mean, hey, yeah, anybody that knows me will tell you I absolutely hate to see a tree cut down. But sometimes, man, they get sick, they got to go, they become a danger to people and, and property. You know, sometimes they got to go. So you're better off reaching out to branch management for these type of issues. And guess what? If you refer somebody to them, you can be eligible for a hundred bucks off your job that they do for you. How about that? That's a sweet deal. Ladies and gentlemen, help your friends keep their yard maintained and you get a hundred dollars off the deal. hundred dollars, a hundred bucks. And every little bit helps. Cause you know, man, when you get to talking about uh, tree pruning and removal and, you know, Look at that picture on the left of your screen, you know, big tree like that. You get, it's not cheap to get those things removed. So every little bit helps. Of course, branch management is going to give you a better deal than anybody else in the county, mm-hmm. mind you. And, and there you go, the list of uh, services they provide, including pressure washing, as well as general landscaping. You want to pick up the phone, give them a call. Joey, you want to read the number? It's 336-325-5300. For more information or to set up an appointment, call 336-325-5300. And that's branch management. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joey's the same. How, how am I doing? Am I, am I getting up the point? I know I'm, I'm not that announcer voice you have, Matt Carter, but I'm get, trying to work on it. Well, I practice mine all the time. It's it's a little weird to tell you. Don't they story. always put like one hand on an ear? I don't know why they do that. Is that to hear better? <laughs> hey, now coming to you in the back. Well, they always back, well, back to you in the studio. If you only have like one earpiece, you know, it you plug your other ear so you can hear you can hear your voice. That's what they're doing. That totally makes sense now. What yeah, tone what, train, tone train. what people gotcha. what people that are unfamiliar with broadcasting don't realize is the what you hear in your head when you talk is not what everyone else hears. So oh, yeah, usually my the, voice sounds totally different than what I hear in my head all day. Exactly. But that's not just you, it's everybody. And that's not just the voices in my head. I mean just my voice, period. Yep. That's and another the only, story. Only way to get used to that is listen to yourself uh, 
listen to yourself on a recording, you know, and, and you have to do that in radio and TV. So, you know, I get used to my voice. I sound like much more of a hick to everybody else than I do inside my own head speaking man there is no easy transition god man one thing i'm not good at is segues all right let's take a look at the top gun tournament it updated over the weekend uh people on instagram got to see this first keep it uh, together bobby got got another half well, hour I'm so we go <laughs> no, i'm fine I, okay. a long day. <laughs> I know it's hard out there for Bill. keep going brother <laughs> yeah <laughs> Joey, you know, having a good time. You, you hey, know what's going to set some, me off. Hey, I'm drinking coffee tonight. I'm in a good spirit. So let's keep talking, guys. All right, all right. So look, so the uh, the uh, right side German, of your screen, German the, brew. It's good stuff. The, the brackets stuff. have been updated. Look at this. Corey Etzel has advanced to the second round. Mickey Fulp is out. Oh, not the Fulpster. Yeah, Mickey Fulp is out. Uh, <laughs> but you can see he's got more time to drink now. He's going to have a good party now. He can celebrate. Uh, the Sheik, Geo, Isari, I'm probably saying it wrong, Ronnie York, Ace Harris, Corey Edsel, Player, Kay Holiday, Lazarus Black have advanced on that side of the bracket. Now, on the left side of the screen, you can see that the uh, brackets have not moved along that far, but Benny Conley did beat David Parrish, which I think will make Mickey Fault. That's kind of a concession prize, you know, when you mm. lose on Wheel of Fortune, you know, you don't get to keep all the money, but they send you home with a gift basket. So I guess <laughs> you folks could take that as a gift basket for this tournament. Still though, um, if you look at the left side of the screen, and I'm sorry for you guys on, on the, on the radio end, on the podcast end, that I'm still getting used to this being video and audio, but there are four question marks in the bracket above Jordan Lawrence's name. We still do not know who this mystery person is. Could Mickey fault, maybe pull something, uh, a stunt and get back into the tournament. Or is that allowed? Could he pay another entry fee since there's an empty spot and, and get back into the tournament? You know, if you go back and you think about wrestling way back in olden times, especially around here. And I say olden times, like when I was like five or six years old. So 82, 83, the NWA had a world tag team title tournament and they would have a different tournament in each city. And depending on how many of those you won, you ended up in the final tournament, which was held in Charlotte, I think. But what you could do is, all right, say like uh, Bobby Dalton and Joey Nugs team up and they enter the tournament in Spartanburg, but they get bounced in the quarterfinals. Well, if they had another tournament the next night in Charlotte, you could pay the entry fee again and enter that tournament. So you could actually enter as many times as you wanted. Now, that's pretty slick. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think in the end, Ole Anderson and Stan Hansen ended up winning that tournament wow. and, then, and then running off with the belts to Georgia because Ole got mad at Jim Crockett. And, <laughs> and so I don't know what happened. I can't remember how, how they ended up coming back here, but I know Steamboat and Youngblood ended up with them. Ole stayed mad at everybody. Ole's still mad. Yeah. yeah, I remember hearing an interview with Ricky Morton. He said, Ole Anderson is the only man he knows that hates ice cream. <laughs> That's a man that hates a lot of things. He said, Ole don't like anything. He don't even like ice cream. I heard him say it. And he had that strong Tennessee accent he speaks. And he don't oh, even like ice cream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robert's like, yeah, you don't even like ice cream. <laughs> I'm a, hey, look, when they come to deal with the steel, and when I ask him about that, I think it's coming up in August. All right, here we go. Tennessee All Pro Wrestling will be making a return to the Victory Center this Saturday night, April 23rd. Bell time is 7:30. What a great value here. Adults, $8. Children, six to 12, get in for six dollars. Kids five and under are free. Um, but then uh, so hang on, I'm getting a message here. Uh, the Victory Center is the place to be for Tennessee All Pro Wrestling. They uh they are having their big event, of course, this Saturday night. So if you are in uh, Morrison area, go out and check them out. Tennessee All Pro Wrestling, longtime affiliate of the AIWF. And we absolutely love them. Yes. WDWA with some awesome signage right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, that's they, a good looking, aesthetically looking flyer. It looks awesome. Yeah, this is a tournament they're having here. One night nice. tournament is my understanding. And custom creations, as always, at 605 B Winchester Avenue in Martinsburg, West Virginia. This event, of course, happens this Saturday night as well, April 23rd. All tickets, $15. If you had 
721 when Bobby Dalton would cough into the microphone for the first time. Drink now. Uh, sorry, Bobby. That was a joke That's last okay. week. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry about that. We are AIWF. We are subject to change and have accidents on a regular. Yeah. See, I'm <laughs> we're good at covering them up though at times. What what I do, Bobby, just so you know, is I, I've got see this hand right here. I, I keep it right down here on the mute button. And if I feel the urge, I'll uh, I just I click the button. And so <laughs> it's a it's called that's why they call it a cough button. Uh, but anyway, uh, 681-247-2460 get you some information uh, from Custom Creations. Uh, it's going down this Saturday night, and I, again, I think 15 bucks at the door. So check it out. The Holy Grail Tournament going on this Saturday night. Also, Joey Nug's favorite promotion in the entire world just because of this poster, Empire Pro Wrestling. It's almost here, folks. The Saturday night, April 30th show, Thirst for the Gold. Can't buy tickets at the door, folks. You got to go to patreon.com slash Empire Pro Wrestling OKC to get your tickets for this one. Bell time's at 5 o'clock. It's at 5401 Northwest 39th Street in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And again, you have to go to, listen closely, patreon.com slash Empire Pro Wrestling OKC if you're in the Oklahoma City area and want to check out uh, some great wrestling action. They put on some great shows down there. An old Mid-South town, you know, as it were. And they're keeping the tradition alive of wrestling in OKC. Not at the Myriad now. It's at 4001 Northwest 39th Street in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I don't even know if the Myriad is still in Oklahoma. I love Oklahoma City. I've been there many a times. That's a great city. Is the I love Myriad, Oklahoma, period. Is the, is the Myriad Coliseum still there, or, or do you know? I don't believe so, no. Okay. All right, I know that's, uh, no, I think Magnum TA won the North American hot title in, in the myriad, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. So if anybody out there is a Mid-South nerd, uh, straighten me out if I'm wrong. All right, our friends at Excalibur Championship Wrestling are presenting uh, their big show down in Florida. They, um, XCW uh, it says takes on florida oh okay i see there's an exclamation point at the front and the back of that it was throwing me off it that yeah that's work. that's a little confusing there yep um so anyway saturday april 30th it's 10 bucks to for adults five bucks for kids 12 to 6 and 5 and under are free doors open at 6 p.m bell times at 7 p.m it's a 287 southeast racetrack lane in lake city florida again that's 287 southeast racetrack lane in lake city florida and again, that's Saturday night, April 30th. I see Dirty Joe on the poster. I see Corey Edsel on the poster. And most of the other folks I don't recognize. Yep. Comments? Hey, this, they're getting all over the place. X, XCW is doing things. They are definitely going throughout the entire region from the Carolinas down to Florida. And this is at the racetrack. And I've been told these racetrack shows draw huge crowds. Because they, they cross promote with the with the racetrack fans, yeah. So it kind of it's all the same kind of crowd that likes racing and pro wrestling too. I, I imagine. You know how I know that the race fa uh, race fans and wrestling fans are one and the same. What's that? Because most wrestling promoters hate racing because it takes away from their audience. That's what I believe. You always that makes follow, sense. Follow the money trail. Ask Rick, yeah. Ask Rick Diesel what he thinks about NASCAR. Sometime when he got him away from a microphone. Um, okay, so I'm getting an update from XCW here. We were talking about Mickey Fault. Uh, he did lose in the tournament, but check this out. He, the same night he won a battle royal to become number one contender for the XCW heavyweight title. How about that? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So big oh, things. Yes, indeed. So things didn't work out in the tournament, but now it looks like Mickey Fault has bigger fish to fry. That's awesome. Speaking of bigger fish to fry, big pro wrestling show coming to Wadesboro, North Carolina, Saturday night, May the 7th, WCEW and Diamond of Rockingham presents uh, City Reach. It's at the City Reach Community Center. Legends are made. 
Uh, so you can see it's a lot of, uh, a lot of talent on there. Uh, let's see. The here. last show must have been successful. They're having a second one, so they must have drawn a decent crowd at this last one of this past weekend. Yep, all tickets. It was quite a few. Yeah, the AIWF wrestlers were out there on that one. Yep, uh, and let's see. I see uh, Jamal the Titan on this show. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that we recognize. Right over Corey Etzel. Yeah, Corey Etzel's on this show. He looks like he's in the main event. Brittany Jade from AEW Dark is going to be there. There's a QR code there if you want to scan uh, and uh, for tickets, $10. But I'm sure you can get them at the door, too. It's at 106 Yates Hill Road. And the poster's kind of confusing after that. R. Ham. Is that Rockingham? But it says Wager. I am, might be Rockingham. Oh, that's the that's the sponsor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's the sponsor. Um, the it was sponsors in Rockingham. Um, for Diamond. Um, oh, okay. That's yeah, for, oh, gotcha. Diamonds of Rockingham. Is my mic working? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you, Tim Stone. Unfortunately, we can hear you. Oh, you shut up, Joey. <laughs> okay, I'll sit here not say anything, and you entertain all these listeners. Okay, go ahead, Tim. Start yeah, entertaining people. Go ahead. Tap dance, monkey. Tap dance. Go ahead, Tim Stone. And that's what we call in a business dead air. And that will mm-hmm. get you get you lost. So anyway, <laughs> the wrestling show is Saturday night, May the 10th. Doors open at 6, bell times at 7.15. The wrestling show is at 1134 East Caldwell Street in Wadesboro behind the Pizza Hut. So again, the wrestling show itself is at 1134 East Caswell Street. I'm sorry, I said Caldwell Street earlier. East Caswell Street in Wadesboro, North Carolina. So if you're listening on podcast, write that down. 1134 East Caswell Street in Wadesboro. That comes up Saturday night, May the 7th. And of course, their sponsors is Diamonds of Rockingham. And I'll go ahead and give you their number too, since they were- Oh, don't there. forget that See No Evil Wrestling is actually a sponsor of the show. They're not putting on the show itself. There's WCEW is putting on the show. Mm-hmm. See No Evil, they're, they're a sponsor of the wrestling event itself. Okay, so that's the way to get people to know in that area about their company. Yep, and again, Diamonds of Rockingham, a sponsor. If you want to give them a call, 910-817-7517. Again, 910-817-7517. That's for Diamonds of Rockingham. Okay, Clash on the Coast is coming your way Saturday, May at the Travel Lodge Sports Complex. Uh, it is in Panama City Beach, Florida. It's 225 Shalimar Street. Shalimar Street. I don't know. I've never been to Panama City. I don't know. But uh, 225 Shalimar Street, Panama City Beach, Florida. 12 bucks for ringside advance, 15 at the door, $10 general admission. Doors open at 6. Bell time is at 7. And you can get your tickets for this show either by scanning the QR code you see on your screen. Or for those of you listening on the radio, tickets.ffwlive.com. That website, again, tickets.ffwlive.com. And it also Re- says first general, it says free general mission with military ID or first responder ID. Yes. There you I, go. I, I, think the that's a, I think that's a great idea. Well, own respect to the first. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. AIWF Mid-Atlantic Management. <clears throat> All I right. think all military guys ought to be free to any show. Yeah, just can't start their truck on camera. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch you later on this one, Sergeant Stryker. It's all right. Keep talking. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. So, all right, let's go to the Elks Lodge, number five in Shabbat, Ohio. Sunday, May 22nd, bell time, 3 p.m., it's at 3621 Shavoit, Shavoit, Ohio. Shavoit, Ohio. But the okay. All right. But the address is 3621 Glenmore Avenue, Cincinnati. So uh, I don't know. Okay. But anyway, um that's it's where, brought to you by the Elks Lodge, I do believe. Yeah, and they're calling it Cincy Slam, Sunday, May 22nd, 3 p.m. at the Shavat. Shavoit. 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 Look, 
I spent all my time in Ohio and central and northeast Ohio. I do not know anything about southwest hey, Ohio. I'm trying to help you here. Man. I appreciate it. There's a lot of tough These people want to find it. They'll be looking for Sh- Sh- Shavuain or whatever the heck you said it was, and they'll be lost. In the well, way. I'm gonna tell you what the first time, <laughs> the the first time that I saw a sign for Chillicothe, Ohio, when I was going through there, I thought I was in a different country. I thought I had somehow teleported out of the United States. So uh and believe me if you don't have never seen that word spelled out it's not easy some of the towns in ohio are tricky uh but anyway sunday may 22nd at 3 p.m at the uh elks lodge there uh in the cincinnati suburbs because i ain't getting that name right (laughs) shavoit 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 um it's kind of a jewish thing shavoit uh oi oi Oy vey, it's the Chevoy, Ohio. Get up there and see the wrestling event. Cincy Slam. All right. Yeah, so, Cincy is short for Cincinnati, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, okay. Home of WKRP. <laughs> Number to call for more information on this program is 513-227-6504. Or you can scan the QR code if you're watching. 513-227-6504. Oh, the Rockingham Rumble is coming your way Saturday night, May 28th from the Rockingham National Guard Armory in Rockingham, North Carolina. It's WCEW again with another big show. And look at that. The NWA and WWF legend, the Barbarian, is going to be there. Barb. Nice guy. <laughs> Love yeah. easy, easy way, hard way. You choose. Uh, brother, brother, man. Brother, brother. Yeah, we get started early. Uh, <laughs> I love it, guy, man. He was one of the nicest people I ever met. I sure wouldn't want to make him mad, though, because even at this age, he's still a beast. Uh, and so the Barbarian going to be there. It's for the Rockingham Rumble coming up Saturday night, May 28th. Renegade Championship Wrestling poster here. They've got their shows up for the rest of the year. They're out in Colorado, in Cannon City, Colorado, and uh, at the Mountain View Core of Knowledge. Volunteers to read the remaining shows starting with May 14th uh, for our friends at Renegade Championship Wrestling. Anybody? May 14th, we've got Cannon City Glory. June 11th, Tap Out. July 9th, Justice for All. August 13th, Aftershock. September 10th, Turmoil. October 8th, Never Surrender. October 5th, two days before my birthday, Uprise. And that's brought to you by Renegade Championship Wrestling. November 5th. Um, November 5th. All right. So thank you we're, very much. We're glad, we're glad to know your months, and we're glad to know. Well, you did You did jump up to help out, Mr. Striker guy. You're still failing from your truck start. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the reason for my, my, my lovely hairdo tonight, uh, spring jam <laughs> comes your way. You realize we're on the radio. Not a lot of people are seeing your hair here, but we're enjoying the mess out of it. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, Here's your reason to tune in to see this. Well, yeah. So yeah, go out of your way to watch the video version of this as well, but we want you on the audio version too. You would have been a great rock star back in your day, Matt Carter, by the way, with this hair. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't have lived. I wouldn't have lived very long. That's for sure. Um, Spring Jam, Hair Nation, a salute to 80s hair music. It takes place this Saturday night at Veterans Park in Mount Airy. Tickets are only $8 for the floor, 6 bucks for general admission. Doors open at 6, bell times at 7. Brought to you by our friends at King's Hot Dogs. And, of course, we have the best concessions in wrestling. And I have heard a rumor that we've got a donut truck that's going to be making its way out to the show this weekend. I don't know if that's true or not. but Donuts? Donuts. Donuts. Mm -hmm. Donuts. Yeah, you can probably get a Homer Simpson special if you want. Pink frosting and sprinkles. Oh, by the way, if you've got a question or comment for the panel, go ahead and drop it in the uh, comments section here on Facebook. Uh, we, I know that Smokey is with us tonight. Uh, he took a break from the evening soiree at Augusta National to join us and moderate the chat. So if you've got a question for anybody on the panel or you want to ask the whole panel a question, jump in and uh, Smokey will text it to me. So uh, anyway, they're the tag team champions, Gorilla Q and Matt Anderson. And I saw another poster, and I think I've got it. I don't know if I have it here on this slideshow or not this week that showed them next to um, Caden Pierre and um, what's his name? Duggar. Um, they're the pink princes of the pink gang. 
You know what I'm talking about? That is, that, is, that yeah. a, is that a is that a is that a tag team match coming up? That we're I, I hope so, man. I, hey, I buy a ticket to see that one. Yeah, that would be a great match. What a clash of styles that'll be! You know, a uh, couple. You know, blunt force trauma, luchador mm-hmm. style. You know, Matt Anderson, Ironhead, Matt Anderson. They call him Ironhead for a reason. Then mm-hmm. Gorilla Q with his uh, his style against the two high flyers uh i would love to see that i would love to see that and it's funny you know i wish commissioner dave was on here but if this match happens uh i feel partially responsible because i mentioned to him months ago that i I thought that would be a good match sin crowley is also going to be on the card this saturday night at spring jam uh and so again uh salute to 80s hair metal there's nobody more metal in the aiwf than sin crowley Rumor savage he's coming out yeah, the winger. Coming out the winger. Winger. He's a winger fan. Oh Saint my Crowley God. He, he rocks the winger. That's almost as bad as sleaze bees. Remember those guys? Oh my winger. That was the kid. Remember the kid on Beavis? They sold a lot of records and the women like them. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, I'm not going to go any further with that winger. Yeah. I won't deny that whatever you say, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't know. I just heard this is a rumor. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on this. I just heard he's a winger fan. Oh, mercy. Well, speaking of Mickey Fulp, here it is. Uh, That's not Mickey Fulp. No, but this is his tag team partner. Oh, okay. And he will be there. And oh, my God. He's nothing. got glasses on. He's hiding already. I, I don't blame him. Good. I, I forgot his name already. Oh, my God. <laughs> He was that important. You forgot his name. Jeez. Don't this guy me. here, ladies and gentlemen, he's wearing glasses and he looks like a real rock star here. So I'm sure he's going to be great in the ring. Oh, man. Uh, Mickey. F- but look, we're going to listen to Mickey Fulp's interview here in just a minute. And Mickey and might talk about his friend here. He's going to. Yes, he will. And ah, this is it. This is the poster I was talking about. Yeah. See the uh, princes of the pink gang. You know, there's a guy over my shoulder there. I ain't digging this. Uh, that looks like the singer for White Snake. He ain't cool like Joey Nugs. How, how he gets the top spot? Get out of my shoulder. I got a question. Would Warrant be considered a hair band from the 80s or would they? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Warrant. Oh, yeah. Th- yeah, they were the they were the 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 hair band. Uh they were the work to me, they were the girly of if, if any of the hair band actually was masculine, they were the most unmasculine of any bands. She my, my cherry pie. Yeah, it was <laughs> but I was that is the strip club classic, ladies and gentlemen. And Matt Classic, of course, uh, Matt Carter knew that one right off the top of his head. Boy, he started going back to his days working a stripper pole. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well Matt Carter, I'm gonna, I'm, hey, Matt, I'm going to say this about the 80s. One group that I couldn't stand, and people get mad at me if you don't care, I could not stand Guns and Roses. They were pathetic. Axl Rose. Especially Slash, I like, but Axel oh Rose. God, yeah, talking wow. about about Guns and Roses. You got to tell you now you have no. Well, you you probably listen to classical Jimmy music bon while you ride there. around in a car. Bon Jovi. Talk about Guns and Roses. Bunch of Bon Jovi is an awesome band. Motley Crue. Motley Crue. I don't know if Motley Smoking Crue was a hair band. Smoking in Boys Room. That was the yeah. Was Motley Crue a hair band or more of a a, a metal band? Motley Crue see. definitely was a hair band. They were hair. Yeah. They were hair. Definitely hair. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, they weren't no Metallica by any means. No Pantera. No. They were none of that. All right. So look, we can we can continue this debate. We'll continue this debate with you fans, yeah. of course, this Saturday night, April twenty third at Mount Airy. Who's the hair man and who ain't? Uh, but again, it's at Veterans Park in Mount Airy, six ninety one. I think it's funny we got a guy with long hair standing next to Ty Tyson with no hair advertising hair bands. Well, yeah, is but this, this ironic or not? <laughs> Oh, might just be poor planning. I don't know. I love the AIWF artwork, though. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, again, it's 691 South Lebanon Street in Mount Airy. Tickets $8 for ringside, $6 for general admission. And so, um, and there you have it, gentlemen. Uh, that's our announcements for the week. Let me go ahead and see if I can't track down our interview that Mickey Fulp sent in. Uh, and you guys talk about amongst yourselves for a second here while I find it, please. I think you were looking at it shades of Jimi Hendrix with this 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 uh, headband you got going, Mister Carter. It's really so? working. I think so, man. I'm feeling this, man. You should, yeah. you should 
You should come out. You should come out to the ring, uh, the the purple haze. <laughs> yeah. You know, anyway, he can work the purple haze. Get him a boa like Hulk Hogan used to have. Well, that's kind of yeah. But that's the seventies. Yes. Oh, smoke on the water. There you go. That was the smoke yeah. on the yeah. water. Fire that was the seventies, though, man. This is eighties hair metal. So, um, hey, Joey Nugs. Hey, what's going on there, Tim Stone? I was told to deliver you a message. Oh God, here we go. Oh, my wife <laughs> told me to tell you that Joey Nugs is so much like Joe Biden. Oh Jesus Christ! Hey, what what is that supposed right to there? Mean? I ain't doing no. Politics don't on don't those even shows. start politics. First off, I'm not. I'm nothing like Joe time. Biden. I love America, so don't start this. Don't you start either. You're next. Man. Hey, don't he's you? the one that brought it up, and I, your I, wife. She dude, might, she, no, no, forget about no, it. I'm not going there. No you're not supposed politics. to. You don't talk about religion or politics. There's two things that people don't get along with in this world, this and they're and they're hot spots for pro wrestling or any kind of podcast. Period. Don't pull pull them up. Yeah. Um. I yeah. I got no room for politics on this show whatsoever. I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm not. I didn't mean to be rude, but we're not not doing politics. No, no, no. I'm not alienating half my audience over Thank dumb you. politics. But if you'd like to talk to me in person, I can tell you why your favorite party sucks, no matter which one it is. So, but we will not do that on this show. There you All go. All right. For another night. All right. So we did have an interview sent in by Mickey Fulp, and we're going to, as quick as I can get up here and share sound and optimize for video. Smoke in the water, fire in the sky. Oh, that's seven, brother. That was a good song, man. I loved it. Hey, right, Mickey Fulp, here we go. Let's listen to Mickey Fulp, guys. Well, it's official. I just did a little something, something that I usually don't do. You see, I've been having this this issue with David Parrish and Case and Kane for so long. Since the anniversary show when David Parrish attacked me after my match, it, I just want to end this thing once and for all. So, I called Commissioner Dave yesterday morning. Something I don't ever do. Hell, I, I had to go and ask all kinds of favors just to get his number to talk to him. But as you can see, my tag partner, no comparison, Joe Harrison, my longtime tag partner, no comparison, Joe Harrison, has been announced. Hey, that's his name. Saturday. Hmm. Anybody want to put two and two together there? That's right. I got no comparison, Joe Harrison. On the AIWF Mid Atlantic Spring Jam uh, tribute to 80s hair music this Saturday night, and we're gonna face the team of David Parrish and Case and Kane. And not only are we gonna face the team of David Parrish and Case and Kane, we're gonna face them in a tornado tag match. No rules, no DQ, falls count anywhere. You boys wanted this, well now you got it. I'll see you boys on Saturday. Well. Oh, that's that, boys and girls. Mickey Fulp. <clears throat> we Talks. found out Mickey's tag team partner's name, and he wants to call out the Fight Club. What is he thinking about? Yeah, that's the Fight Club. That, that, yeah, yeah, along with Jack, those guys come in the ring with Fight Club. They train to fight. I don't care about Mickey Fulton, his new tag team partner just showed up out of nowhere. Surprising. I'm surprised Mickey got moved into a new house trailer. Couldn't stand in front of a brick wall at some wrestling event. You, you do it right in your house in a house trailer. Jesus. Lord. Represent for the trailer parks. Let the propane blare. Yeah, uh, for those of you listening, uh, Mickey Fulp was doing it, looked like in his kitchen doing that interview, but, you know. Neither that might have been his girlfriend's house, anybody's house. I mean, it was in a trailer. He might have been partying out in the trailer court. I mean, it happens. Oh, yeah. That's I've, dated, I've slummed before and went to the trailer park. It's good. Mercy. Lord have mercy. All right. So, it's something else worth mentioning. Uh, in no comparison, Joe Harrison was also, he, he broke into the business down in C4W down in Myrtle Beach, which was uh, run by our friend and AIWF Hall of Famer, I believe, Creeping Death. That's so, where I knew the guy from now. Okay, I recognize yeah. his mug. Yep, that's where you yeah. knew him from. Yeah, I thought I knew his face. I just didn't know his name. There you go. Yep, absolutely. So, 
All right. Now we, uh, Smokey, do we have any questions from the gallery? Uh, if you're out there, are you monitoring the chat? Send me a text message if you've got any, got any questions in the chat. As you know, I can not see it. Um, but uh, so I was cutting close on uh, getting a uh, getting a clip. So I just went up on YouTube and dug up an old classic here. Can you see this? Can you see my screen, guys? Yeah, yeah, we can see it. All right. This is from we showed a clip of Rick Diesel and Ricky Morton having an argument last week. Well, this match, I believe, took place a few weeks after that uh, in Elkin, North Carolina. That is David Flair wrestling ricky morton right here and if you'd like wow. to see, see this match yeah. with my original commentary you just go on youtube and search ricky morton versus david flair i think this is the only time they ever wrestled and um and so you can you can check it out there um and we'll just kind of keep it on in the background as we talk but um i wanted to try a new segment with you guys this week um we've still got a few minutes ago i i got it got an idea I stole it from another radio show um, it's oh called, here we go. It's, it's a panel discussion and we'll go around the horn and then what I will do is make a statement, right? And you, it's kind of like you say, whether it's true or false and give your opinion. Okay. But we're going to call it, put it over or DQ. And I guess it's good that we got referee Tim stone in here. So if you agree with the statement that I make, you say, put it over and then give your reason. If you disagree you say DQ or disqualify and give your reason. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, here we go. First statement is wrestling schools need to teach guys how to market themselves more effectively, i.e. doing TV and helping advertise the shows that they're booked on. Do you put it over or DQ? Who wants put to it over. put it over big time? They definitely need put to do over. that. Okay. And, and give me some, re give me some, thoughts behind that gentlemen well well here's the thing the the internet's not going any time anywhere anytime soon it's even getting more bigger as we speak it's not and so as a future uh, beyond uh, people you have to go out and do that what we used to call grassroots and you go out and hang the flyers up and you would go shake hands so now you get it you go all over the internet now and in a moment you could you could post a video up and hit and hit a huge target of, of core audience especially with all all the the social media you can pay a little extra and they'll out actually advertise directly to whatever your core audience is. So definitely you should always advertise and, and get your all over social media. So yes. And they should teach them how to they, beyond learning how to cut a promo, put themselves over. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kevin, and, yeah, Kevin, go ahead. I heard you speak up too. Yep. Uh, I'd say most definitely put it over uh, because nowadays, I mean, if you look at it, wrestling training schools are a dime a dozen these days. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you've got different promotions popping up everywhere. But the thing about it is, is it has so long been forgotten to put yourself over that most of the guys in these wrestling schools and everything else, they're more put bugaboos in guys ears say hey let me train you and then you can go out and chase all this money and you can do this and you can do that but if you're not putting yourself over how can you say you're worth the money that you're going to a show for to be payable to be paid on mm -hmm. if um, nobody knows who you are bobby dalton you've been around a long time what do you think put it over or dq Put it over because some of these young guys don't even know how to get on a microphone and sell themselves or talk or nothing. They act like a bunch of little zombies up there. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Even some of the guys in NXT, WWE, AEW, some of those guys act like they're scared to even get on the microphone and sell themselves. Mm -hmm. The key is presentation. Mm -hmm. If you don't present yourself, how's anybody going to know how to follow you? You know, if you stand there and just look stupid, you know, people are going to say, well, we could care less. Also, another thing these guys need to do today, some of these guys training need to put on 20, 30 extra pounds because they look like a bunch of sticks out there in, with the ribs sticking out. I mean, you know, <laughs> presentation means a lot. Yeah. Promotion means a lot. That is the key. Yeah, and, and look, young wrestlers out there, you know, I, this is not 
geared to bash all young wrestlers because I know the first Uh-oh. thing that enters your mind when you hear this type of talk is, oh, these old guys, man, they want stuff to be like it was back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, no, um, nostalgia nostalgia is a dangerous thing because you tend to remember all the good times. But I can tell you, I grew up in the 80s and there were plenty of things about the 80s that sucked. So plenty and probably more than that were great. Honestly, let me just be real about this. The music was pretty good though. Um, so no, this is not a knock at young, young wrestlers and everything, but you, I would suggest, uh, you know, and this is not just for me saying, I want you to come on this show. Cause I do, I want to get you over and I want to fatten up your envelopes, but to do that, you got to draw bigger crowds. Yes. And you can't, exactly. can't, cannot sit here and tell me that you are worth, 50 or 75 dollars when the total uh amount of people in the building is around 100 people yeah you, know, you drew nobody that- you didn't it's the worst part is is wrestlers won't even take a flyer that they're on even if you're not on the flyer and put it on their facebook wall throw it over social media i take flyers that i'm not even on that are running the same exact day that i'm running and share them on my facebook for two reasons one they're not in the same town that I'm running on. It's not going to affect the, the, the company that I'm running on. And two, it lets people know in another area, hey, there's pro wrestling in your area. Three, I think that the more we do, to, to, the, the better the, the better in so of pro wrestling in general is great for, the, for, for our business. We want places for wrestlers to be able to go out and wrestle and get better exactly. at their trade. We need yep. these places to stay open. Yes. Pandemic is lifted now. We need to get back out in these buildings and we need to – promote pro wrestling mm-hmm. See, and i'm not i'm not really one to uh and, and i'm really not doing it now i'm not really one to toot my own horn or anything like that Uh oh. but already i mean you you've heard several of my promos and uh throughout the years and the very guy that's in the ring right now in one ricky morton i remember him being on a c4w show down in south carolina and or or yeah down in myrtle beach and uh he wanted a couple of us to come out there and cut a promo on him Mm -hmm. there was one guy that cut a promo and he said "Eh, it was good but i'm just not buying it he looked at me and he said i want you to be the heel and i'm gonna be the face and i want you to cut a promo I sit there and ad-libbed every single word that I had in that promo. And Ricky Morton looked me dead in the face and said, you literally just scared the shit out of me. Hmm. And and that's high praise coming from Ricky Morton, because if you suck, he'll tell you. Um, Yes. You know, I mean, he, 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 and he won't mince words about it either, you know, Um, and, and see young guys. Oh, now watch this. This is critical. Watch this. Rick Diesel comes out to the ring. Did you see that? He throws how dare how dare he put his hands on Mr. Diesel? And, well, Ricky Morton punched Rick Diesel in the face for those of you listening at home and then hit that was a wrench. I know because I was there. I called that match. The rent they, spot. I need to remember the rent spot. Oh no, we gave Joey Nugs some ideas. <laughs> here, here, here's the He's figure. a hammer. Here's the figure four, and it's just academic at this point, folks. And again, if you would like to see this match with the original sound and commentary, just go on YouTube and search Ricky Morton versus David Flair. This match should come up. Uh, and there it is, one, two, three, all over. David Flair wins the big match, and so Rick Diesel gets a measure of revenge on on Ricky Morton for their children dating. All right, next one, and this is probably going to be our last one because we're about five minutes from the top of the hour. All right, put it over a DQ. In 10 years, viewer numbers for nationally televised wrestling will approach what they were in the late 90s. Put it over a DQ. 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 Why do you think that, Joey Nuggs? Because wrestling's on a, dec- a decline. There, are, you got companies out here that are afraid to even put the word wrestling in the name of their company. Yeah, that drives me absolutely freaking crazy. Of course. Yeah. yeah Here's the thing: we we wrestle. We, this is a wrestling company. We wrestle for wrestling belts, and the people in the ring are wrestlers. It's another way to describe it. I mean, it's pro wrestling. Yeah. They won't call it sports entertainment this, anymore. They're going to be entertained instead of going out there brawling like it used to be. Yeah, that was all Vince McMahon getting trying to get around uh, paying taxes in New York State. 
yes. called it sports entertainment right. and, and and in new jersey that was fine yeah, yeah that was financially done uh, that was done for financial reasons but you know what that was done what 25 almost 30 years ago now what's the harm with calling it wrestling now you know i mean there isn't no harm it's pro wrestling you got around the tax right. laws. What's the big deal? People ask me, what do you do for a living? I'm a pro wrestling manager. I'm not a sports entertainment manager. I don't even know what that even is. All right. Sergeant Stryker, Bobby Dalton, put it over or DQ? DQ it. Oh, yeah. DQ, most definitely. Okay. Explain like I said, any, Well, anymore, like he said there, you know, it's wrestling. It's not uh, gymnastics. It's not uh, tumbling. It's not sports entertainment is professional wrestling if you can't handle the sport then go somewhere else professional wrestling is not for the weak at heart and for lily liver people that can't handle it i mean let's face the facts the sport has been watered down Mm -hmm. we need to get back to the basics well and they won't they won't look back the way they used to be in the memphis and the carolina days Go back the way it used to be. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back to a bunch of squash matches and never see anything happen But what, once a no, month. Not, but, I, but I will say this, where I will say I would like to see it presented like a sport. You know, um, yeah. everybody knows what the deal is with wrestling, but people knew back in the day too, and they turned out in bigger numbers because it was presented as a sport. So yeah. you don't need people teleporting um you know you, you don't need it and like stuff like uh wrestling i heard brian alvarez say it yesterday wrestling in this country has been around in, in one form or another for 140 years huh? do you know why nobody ever booked a, ba- a reverse battle royal until the last few years because it's stupid mm-hmm. and when you do stupid shit you're gonna yield stupid results you know i mean that's just that you know, my boss at my shoot job told me that today. I thought that was just a great saying. It is. Uh, yeah. yeah. So fools can be. So, yep. um, so, but anyway, that's, that's all I have for put it over a DQ again, like to thank branch management for supporting our program. We're almost out of time. Three, three, six, three, two, five, five, three, zero, zero. Call them. If you're in the Mount area area, need landscaping, pressure washing, tree pruning, removal whatever they can do it you know they might even paint your house for you if you ask nice enough three three six three two five five three zero zero spring jam is this saturday night in mount airy oh man it's a tribute to 80s hair metal band baby we're, we'll have a discussion is motley crew a hair band or a metal band you, you it, let tim stone borrow that wig <laughs> hey, shut up. And uh, <laughs> and bonus points if uh, somebody actually picks out a sleaze bees song to come out to. Um, I wouldn't recognize it if I heard it. But uh, anyway, uh, and 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 can we find out if Warrant came out in the late '80s or early '90s, and do they qualify as an '80s hair band? Because if that record, yes, yeah, I keep telling you they're a hair band. They're the they're the worst of the the sissy hair band. <laughs> Warrant. That's Every time always, been... Have you ever watched Beavis and Butthead? They, yes. got, they got Beavis and Butthead. One's wearing ACDC. The other one wears Metallica. And then Stuart the Goofy Kid shows up with a winger shirt on. Yes, winger. Yes. That's the reason, because yeah. winger is a, is a, a hair band. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. uh, another another bad one, Striper. Remember them? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. We're digging God. deep now, man. Uh, uh, you young folks. About man, the just... L.A. guns. They were the worst. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember any of their songs, but when I saw them on the They're poster, lucky. I was just like, wow, okay, L.A. Guns. I remember hearing that that uh, that band. But anyway, folks, that's all we got All we got time for this week on AIWF Ringside Wrestling. Thanks you so much for joining us. Didn't have any questions from the gallery tonight. That was surprising, but I'm sure we will have some questions and comments after this Saturday night. Uh, it is going to be absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to get to Mount Airy. And don't forget, kickball game kickball game i see people ma- messaging us in the mid-atlantic uh on the mid-atlantic uh, facebook page you're sending us dms you ain't got a slide in our dms if you want to play kickball you show up at four o'clock buy a ticket to the show you are in the kickball game that's all you have to do show up and buy a ticket and you are in the kickball game kickball games at four o'clock show starts at around 7 7 30 we'd love to see you there man what a great way to spend a saturday evening mount airy the weather's supposed to be great 
Uh, and, hey, Joey Nugs. Joey Nugs. Yes. Hey, are they going to be rolling you up and using you as the kickball this time? I don't know. You're the one that's got a head that looks like a kickball. Can I kick your head like a ball? Oh, mercy. Uh, I mean, my head, I got a perfect look. Well, good we head. always got it. We were doing great. And you always got to add some kind of violence or something crazy to this. Matt Carter, we were flowing right out the door there. I'm sorry to all you people. He just took us down. We were doing class act, and you just took, our t- took us to the gutter again. Jeez, come on. And you're always talking this to me. I'm the one trying to put a little class, style, and sophistication. I put on a new shirt and everything for the show, you people that actually can see videos. Come on. No oh, mercy. All right. You well, wasn't. You was sitting in a room. Look at you. You got a green screen, and your and, and your background still looks horrible. Well, yeah. All the people listening on podcasts are just like, what the fuck? Okay, so that, that's. Again. Hey, wait. Whoa, whoa, what was whoa, that? Whoa! You can't use them obscenities. We're really going to kick off the air now, Matt Carter. Jesus. No, I mark it explicit for a reason. So, whoa. but anyway, I just thought I just thought I'd add a little seasoning to it. You know, we don't want to go on any profanity laden tirades. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us for AIWF Ringside Wrestling. I'll try not to swear next week. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm, I'm a, swearing up. I'm going to use every language, every word you no, couldn't use no, on no, George no, no, Carlin no, next week. Now, no, no. No, 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 please don't do that. Please don't. Do we're that. marked explicit. I, I am. Yeah, we are marked explicit. But I did that for I did that for safety. You know. Uh, oh no, please, please don't. So anyway. See, I am a product of my environment. So guess what? I am going to wrap things up before any more obscenities come out of my mouth. Thank you so much, wrestling fans, for tuning in. Look, the show will be up on YouTube in about, probably about an hour. And uh, it'll be up on podcasting platforms shortly thereafter, sometime tonight before midnight. So uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Um, You know, even if you see the show in one place, honestly, we need you to go to the other platforms and check it out there, too. It'd be a big help. I really appreciate it. All right. For uh, Tim, referee Tim Stone, Sergeant Kevin Stryker, Joey Nugs, Bobby Dalton, who's already jumped off. Thank you so much for tuning in to AIWF Ringside Wrestling. We will see you at the matches this Saturday night in Mount Airy. But if you ain't coming to Mount Airy, go to support local wrestling somewhere in your area. That's all for this week. And until next time, so long for now. Good night, everybody. See ya.